Well, I think, you know, clearly, again, I think the, the younger people are right now the custodians of what's going to happen to the environment and the environment of the issue and the sustainability of that issue. The theory has always been that's a pop-up issue. You know, it pops up when people aren't concerned about anything else. As soon as other concerns, especially economic, come into play, it goes, it goes away. Uh, I think that generation doesn't believe that, and, and so their ability to keep that on the agenda is huge. The other thing I think young people should be looking for is whether the politicians are paying any attention to them, because if they aren't, it's because they believe that, that young people really don't have any influence. And, uh, I mean, if I was a young person again, that would scare me. I think that they should be interested in the issues that interest them. I don't think that there's a youth issue. I think that by definition, young people take a slightly longer term perspective, um, which is why they tend to be more concerned about issues like the environment. But I, to any young person that was watching this, I wouldn't say, you know, I wouldn't pigeonhole you and say you're a young person, you have to care about the environment. If you're a young person and you care about lower taxes, fantastic. Get out there, get involved in the political party you think will advocate for lower taxes, help that party get elected or at least vote for that party. Get involved in the process somehow. I think every single young person out there should decide what they care about and that's what's going to make them want to vote. Because if you decide that you live in downtown Toronto and there's no green grass for your dog to pee on and you think that there should be more parks, that's an issue that you can go check out every single political website and find out where they stand on getting more public parks. I think if it's environment is a huge thing for you, if water is a huge thing for you, if our aid to Africa is a huge thing for you, if you live in you know Scarborough or in Winnipeg and you think that sending your children or sending your sister or you know to school and, and it's not safe and like that kind of stuff is an issue for you it's so important to check out like make a list of everything that you care about and then go to all the parties websites and put what their stances are and then you can see which party you agree with and I think you'd be surprised at where you stand. Well you know we're at a turning point on a lot of big issues all the parties agree on that whether it's the environment uh, whether it's the economy uh, whether it's um, climate change, Arctic sovereignty, these are all major issues that will play out in terms of the way this country is going to look 30, 40, 50 years from now. So Canadian youngsters should be wired into all of those because it's their country. And where we are 30 years from now, as hard as it may seem to them today, uh, will be where they take us. So get involved. Tell you what's changed is for folks who are uh, coming up through school now, uh, we're into a different kind of country for the next couple of years than we have been for the last 20 years, where there's going to be a shortage of people to do the work that needs to be done to keep the country moving and to keep the country moving forward. Uh, it's going to be uh, difficult to succeed in the economy without a pretty good education, but if you have a reasonably good education, it's going to be all sorts of opportunities. And if I were 15, 16, 18 years old, I'd be looking for somebody who's going to talk about those sorts of things during the campaign. I think young people, and, and you know what, maybe, maybe I'm looking at it from the perspective of a mom because I have three kids, but I know what my kids talk about, and they talk about recycling, and they talk about things that we should be doing at home in order to improve our energy use. So my sense from you know, my small circle is that the environment is going to be a big issue and is an issue for young people only because they inherit it. You know, and they will affect change with it, but they will have to live with it a lot longer than I will. Um, and so I think that's going to be an issue. I also think that uh, post-secondary education is going to be an issue because I always think of it as having the ability to reach your potential. And money shouldn't stop you from reaching your potential because if you do reach your potential with help, um, then you can be a contributing member of society. And I know that sounds like a mom thing to say, you know, we all want our kids to be good citizens and contribute to society. But if you don't have the opportunity to um, find out what it is you want to do, how you want to change things, how proactive you want to be, then you can't, you can't discover that. So I think post-secondary education, having the opportunity to reach a, a potential is going to be a key issue for young people. I hope I'm right, because I think, I think it's critical.